How's it going? It's been a while, so time for an aquaponic update. Might as well start off up here with the stars of the show. Hey fish, how's it going? They've just been fed, but they always come back for more. Had a few issues with the temperature in the water tank. But what happens is when the water temperature rises, the fish find it harder to extract oxygen from the water. And, oh, very convenient, it comes into shot right now. Um, at the moment, our water temperature, if I can get it to focus on this, is just over, just hanging around the 38 degree mark. So, yesterday afternoon, it was just over the 30 degrees. So, yeah, I'm, I'm not very good for the fish whatsoever. The reason that is, is because a lot of the clay balls are exposed at the moment because of the um, clean out and we haven't had a lot of growth kick in. We've got a lot of seeds planted in there. Some are starting to germinate, like the Egyptian spinach there, and I think some parsley's coming through over there. But um, yeah, the sun hits it and heats it up. We've got this 30% shake cloth on it and it just wasn't taking enough sting out. So this morning I got a couple of scraps from under the house, the last bits, and threw them up there just to take some more sting out of the sun so it doesn't heat the water up. Um, yeah, so one of the other thoughts I had yesterday was I could increase the um, oxygen intake or the air intake into the water. And if you've seen some of my other clips, uh, you might remember the little simple venturi I made. Uh, this is the old fill pipe that comes from the pump into the fish tank. And this venturi, just set it up here, actually was connected there with the hole out. The water would pass by the hole, drag oxygen in, and the oxygen would flow down through the bottom of the pipe with the water. Um, that wasn't creating enough oxygen, so I decided to make Mark II, which is just a little venturi with a pipe, an oxygen pipe in it. Oh, well, sorry, air pipe in it. The pipe goes through into the actual delivery, the water delivery pipe, and as the water flows by, it drags oxygen through this pipe and puts it into the water, which is then delivered down through this pipe. Now, these work good. This one worked better than the first one, so that was an improvement. I was really impressed with that. But then I noticed as I was fitting it the other day that I'm actually getting about 15 times more, actually more than that amount of oxygen going into the water just by having it come through a slight restriction at the end there. So what I have is an inch pipe reduced down to a three quarter or a 25 mil down to a 20 mil pipe. And it's actually shooting the water down or the um, air down, I'd probably say about three quarters of a foot, 20 to um, 25 to 30 centimeters down. So I'm, I'm more than happy with that. That's going to increase the oxygen immensely. Another thing we did to increase the oxygen, which I don't know, it's just a bit of basic maintenance that sometimes we all forget about, was scrubbing the air stones. So these guys were getting a little bit dirty and we gave them a good scrub and the amount of oxygen they're now, oh, air, they're now releasing into the water is probably about double what it was before the clean out. So that's something just to keep in mind. I did another um, pipe clean out today. I didn't get anywhere as near as much gunk from this pipe over here. Um, it's really simple to do. I've just got a couple of these little um, elastic clips on here and just unscrew the fitting there, put it down on the ground, give it a big bang, run the pipe and I've got enough um, fish waste out of there to feed the cucumbers in the patch so more than happy with that. Um, oh, while we're looking at water, back over here, let you look at the fish. I did the uh, water test the other day, nitrates are still off the charts so we just don't have enough growth in the system to take it all up at the moment. Um, hopefully the new plants coming through look after that. I'll show you some of the newer ones in a minute. The ammonia is down to around about 0.25, so I'm more than happy with that. That's where it's always set, around about there, there or lower. And the nitrites have fallen down again as well, so they're pretty much all traced. They'll always be there, they have to be there, but yeah, at the moment they're pretty much all traced in the system, so I'm more than happy with that. Um, I was going to do a follow-up test and actually show you those levels, but you're just going to have to take my word for it. It's too hot and I want to get back inside. Um, sorry about that, it's a bit rude of me, I know. I'll just show you the goldies. Goldies are going all right, they're more than happy in there at the moment. Excuse the siphon being noisy. So the water's nice and clear in both tanks. Uh, we are getting a fair bit of sediment build-up or solids build-up in the pipes. I spoke about this in the last clip. I'm going to have to put some sort of a um, swirl filter or a solids filter 
probably do it in this line here and um, as the water comes through it'll go through the filter and then off down to the bed so it's just something that we're going to really have to look at I had a couple of the taps nearly clogged the other day when I was down here um, luckily I can just pull the taps out here or unscrew them I think they're all on um, push and fittings the large taps and the gate valves actually had a build up of uh, solids behind them so they all had to clean out this bed here, this bed here is the one that had the big clean out. I think that was in the last clip. Um, I planted some gimpy gold cucumbers. They're about double the size of the seedlings in the tray still. Um, there's three there. I'm going to take out two of them and just leave one. They're an extremely vigorous grower, I was told. So the idea is not to let it grow over the top of this, uh, is to let it try and train it to grow down here and then along the fence line. Uh, other plants we have in here is Egyptian spinach. And then heaps of uh, green onion seedlings coming up everywhere sporadically. We have some parsley seed. I scattered a whole heap of parsley seed through here, but I can only see a couple of little green um, seedlings emerge, so I'm not too sure what's going on there. The seed may not have been that viable. Uh, the strawberries I've sort of picked up after I did the clean out and removed some of the um, clay balls. Celery is kicking on all right in here. The celery is actually loving it better in the constant flow over the back, so that's something for me to keep in mind for later date. The rainbow chard or um, Swiss chard, only one of the plants seems to be doing all right in the constant flow. The other two aren't too happy. Over here, they're a little bit shaded, the other um, chard I put in there. So this rainbow chard probably should be harvested a little bit more just so um, more leaf comes on to use up more nutrients. So I'll probably take most of those large leaves off today and just give to the chooks. And we'll have the small, couple of the smaller ones for a salad tonight. In this bed here, we're still having fruit fly. I stuck up these boards and I've been reapplying the bits and pieces. There's one there. There's another one over here. But um, the fruit fly, yeah, it doesn't seem to be working, unfortunately. So I'm pretty much all resigned to either bagging all the fruit that's out here in the open or growing in the um, little insect house, hoop house over there. I've had some, I had a massive bull's horn yesterday and a couple of nice little um, yellow capsicums or sweet peppers from there and we've harvested a whole heap of chilies for Sambal Oralic and other chilli paste so fruit fly obviously aren't getting in there so I'm, I'm pleased with that. But anyway, yeah, so these capsicums will probably end up with their fruit bag. There's another one over here that I nearly pulled out the other day so he's looking a bit weary. Other plants in here, um, well because of the shade not being too good in here we baked a couple of carrots up in this end and the ones that are shaded appear to be doing all right so I'm pretty pleased with that there's another one down under there strawberries are setting off runners in here uh, the beetroot we've been harvesting leaves and um, have had a couple out this week there's a uh, the basil's just gone crazy it's it's just grown so quickly in here it's loving it um, I've got a little secret garden of carrots there they're a little short variety so they should do all right these beans need to be harvested today and that, so that's pretty much all it for this poor old fella. The ones in the um, soil patch are pretty much all groners as well. Excuse me, Mr. B. Kangkong's taken off. Really impressed with the Kangkong. I've got one in here. These are the seeds we planted. A couple here. We actually went up to the Andina Markets. There's an aquaponic clip on that um, as well. And I bought some fresh Kangkong and I've thrown it in a jug upstairs. And within two days we had small roots and three days long roots growing on that so that kangkong will be coming out and into one of these beds none of the kangkong I sowed in here the constant flow actually took which I'm a bit surprised because it's actually called water spinach it grows in water such is pineapple sage is loving it as I said this celery is loving this constant flow better than the flood and drain beds the water chestnuts is sending up a couple of little corms around the place so that plant mainly at the moment and this one over here so very happy with that and they're doing all right in this bed as well so yeah I suppose that's pretty much all the whole update um, there's not really a lot has changed uh, other than the basil's grown and the water chestnuts and the like but yeah so that's pretty much all it I suppose hopefully next time you'll see some more growth some new plants and some more happy fish so any comments questions suggestions drop them in the comment section below and I'll get back to you other than that have a great one and take it easy Catch up 25 to 30 centimeters down, so I'm I'm more than happy.